Unlocking the mystery of the feast day calendar. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of English language and culture, the feast day calendar. This topic is not just about learning new words. It's about understanding the cultural and historical significance behind these terms. So, whether you're a language learner or a curious mind, stay tuned as we explore the depths of this intriguing subject. A feast day calendar refers to a calendar that marks special religious feast days. These are days set aside primarily in the Christian tradition to celebrate saints, events in the life of Jesus Christ, and other important religious milestones. Each day is dedicated to a specific saint or religious event, serving as a time for reflection, celebration, and sometimes fasting. Feast days hold significant cultural and spiritual meaning. They connect believers with their faith's history, commemorating the lives of saints who have exemplified virtues like courage, kindness, and devotion. These days also remind the faithful of key events in their religious narrative, fostering a sense of community and continuity among generations. Christmas celebrated on December 25th, commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. Easter, a movable feast celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. The date varies each year, depending on the lunar calendar. Feast of St. Patrick. On March 17th, honoring St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. All Saints Day, on November 1st, celebrating all the saints, known and unknown. These are just a few examples, but the calendar is filled with many other feast days, each with its own story and significance. Learning about feast days is not just about memorizing dates. It's an opportunity to immerse yourself in the culture and history of the English-speaking world. Here are a few tips. Research the history behind each feast day to understand its cultural context. Learn the vocabulary related to religious and cultural celebrations. Practice your language skills by discussing these holidays with native speakers or writing about them. We hope this exploration of the feast day calendar has been enlightening and has added a new layer to your understanding of English language and culture. Remember, learning a language is also about connecting with the stories and traditions that shape its speakers. Keep curious, and see you in our next video.